I think one thing that really made devotional time awesome for me is realizing that it can vary, that it can be different, it can be however, whenever, wherever. I just have my Bible, instrumental worship music, or songs with words sometimes, um, and I will pray to God what's on my heart and spend time in worship and then I'll also read my Bible and then pray through what's in there um, if there's something I don't understand or something that I definitely see that I want to apply then um, I pray through that as well. My devotional time looks like not structure but patterns. I know today when I wake up I'm going to be I'm going to go to the gym. I know I'm going to spend time in the Word of God. I know I'm going to be praying in the Spirit today. I don't know. Don't mind when that all happens, but I know that it will happen. So I, I, I lean a lot more on patterns than structure. One of the things I love to do uh, in my time with God, my devotional time, is just waiting upon God and just asking Him simply what is on your heart. I have a pad next to me which says the Holy Spirit thoughts, and I just write down unfiltered thoughts which come to me as I'm waiting on God. I then love to stand up and I love to play some instrumental music. It sounds a bit more like white noise and it plays and I walk around my room and I pray in the spirit, I pray in the spirit, I pray in the spirit until God starts to ignite something in me and then I start to pray off the back of whatever that is. I've just learned that God is much better at hosting a prayer meeting than I am so I allow him to do that. When I was younger it used to be a lot of praise time and uh, for a good season it was about eating the word and now I'm in a season of prayer and that can be when I'm walking through a park or when I'm in my bedroom just finding the peace of God in times of prayer has been such a big blessing for me. The other thing is obviously I just meditate on the word I'm always spending time in the word thinking about the words my greatest uh, revelation was just from Psalm 1 when it talks about meditating on the word day and night and so many of us, we always meditate on God day or night. You know, I like the morning or I like the evening, but actually, if we can move it to day and night, I think we can grow a lot more in Him. So at first, spending time with God for me just felt like an obligation. Um, but then gradually over time, it became something that I genuinely enjoy. Um, and out of necessity as well, I've noticed that the days I don't spend time with God, um, not in a way of condemnation or anything, but the day just doesn't seem to go well in terms of me personally. Um, I find that I'm less focused on reflecting Christ and more focused on myself and other things that, that can sometimes get in the way. So it's a place for me to lay down my burdens and um, to fix my eyes on the Lord before the day begins. The thing I want to grow in most in my life is prayer. That's the number one thing. You know, my vision for my life is to uh, have Christ fully developed in me, what it talks about in Galatians. And so to be fully transformed into everything I can be in him. And so when I know in my life, number one thing is prayer, then that's why it's so easy now to do it. Well, one thing I've come to realize about devotional times is that all of it is a vehicle to be with God. And saying that Jesus is all that I need is more than just a Christianese phrase. It's really realizing that more than the air that I breathe and more than the food that I eat, I need peace in my mind and in my heart. And finding that in Jesus really motivates me to go into times of devotional with Him. I just want to be with Him at the end of the day. Well, I had this crazy experience of prayer as I was coming to God, where basically I was uh, praying for forgiveness from my ex-girlfriend and my best friend who I basically found out were cheating on me and I prayed to God I got told by a Christian guy to go and pray and ask God to to bless them which is crazy anyway I prayed for them uh, which was like my first major prayer and then the presence of God came in my room my eyes started to cry my face started to shake like a crazy beaver and I started speaking tongues and so it was just a crazy experience of God and so once you've had a taste of God straight away like that then there's there's nowhere else on the earth that you can find that type of taste so that's what got me going with the habit of just encountering the presence of God and just knowing I can't find that anywhere else on the earth well two things really the first one was I did actually notice a difference in my mood and my attitude and my heart when I did it compared to when I didn't do it 
But another practical tip is there's a lot of great resources for devotionals. So if you just need some help getting started, there's a Read Scripture app that you can download right now on your phone. That's really great and it has great uh, backing resources and all of that. Or New Morning Mercies is a very popular one that gives you a second each day, uh, one page to read. We have a lot of resources at our fingertips that can help you get started. Most people will have breakfast in the mornings. I know some people who don't, but for me it works um, because I know that I have breakfast in the morning. I will tie in my personal time with God then because that way I don't miss it. Um, and also another thing, just recognizing that our Heavenly Father loves to spend time with us. He's asked us um, and told us basically that when we abide in Him, then we have His power working in and through us. And without that, we can do nothing. So um, it's recognizing that it's something that we need. And then also that um, we're coming before our God who actually loves us and cares for us. Um, like it says in the word that um, we can approach the throne of grace with confidence knowing that we have perfectly timed help even exactly when we need it so um, when we approach God we can have confidence that he will receive us and he won't turn us away and that he'll help us.